passing from the front and the back, knowing that uh, OGS Kent's units aren't really powerful being separated. So, and he's really a good idea right here. He knows that there's only a couple of stalkers and aren't really going to be able to take out those units as we don't see anything being built right now for De uh, for Ken here. He's not really making anything uh, except for two, for two probes right now. So I'm not sure about that, but you do you don't really see a lot of units being built if you're going for warp gear technology. Maybe you can we can see some upgrades real soon from OGS scan, but I'm not sure about that. Marauders here and Marines are still on zero zero, as well as for <coughs> the stalkers right here, also on zero zero. And here we go, this second drop or this drop again, doing some damage right there. Um, I sh uh, Ken should just focus down on this uh, medevac right here so that it would just prevent it from ever dropping anymore. And here we go, a push here from Bugsy at the front of the way. There's only one medevac on the field, so I'm not sure if it's gonna do a lot of death. A lot of help. Oh, he did, they got a, a Colossus right there. So that means a lot of trouble here for Ken right now. Ken here being in a constant tro uh, constant harass here from Bugsy, so that's the power of the Terran. You really can't break down, especially if you're being harassed. Not three, three medevac harassed right now, and I'm wondering where he's gonna drop off next. Okay, we're making more. Uh, I mean, excuse me. <laughs> Ken is making more gateways right here, and I'm not sure if this is the right connection. Cloud Castle is being made also, so I might see some storms in the future, and that gateway is taken down by Ken. So Ebogs here is not really holding back on the harassment, as he does know that oh, yes, Ken doesn't really have anything so he can separate these units and here we go pylons are probes are gonna attack stealers are gonna attack this war shield here for Ken gonna trap those uh, marauders in into the base and these zealots are not even charging yet so this is not looking good right now for Ken so Ken losing a lot of probes right now as he is taking out a lot of units also from Boxy so I'm not sure this is really I think an all-in push right here for our Siren player as he is losing a lot of units right now and also these probes are gonna take a lot of death, take a lot of kills here. This probe has one kill, that's awesome. This probe has two kills, oh man that's awesome. And most of those kills aren't SUVs or anything, they're marauders or marines, yeah these guys are the shit. <laughs> Oh, just scan here doing a good job wow good job right there unfortunately this twilight council isn't powered so he can't really research a lot of uh, upgrades right now so yeah he's gonna wait for a pylon to build before he can we, he can be able to upgrade his units as we see ogs box here i think he did uh, lose a lot of income here as we are seeing it's as we are seeing pro, uh, probe count here is 26 so it's not really looking bad here for Ken as uh, I'm pretty sure that Bugs here really sacrificed a lot of uh, mining units to make those harassment harassments and to make them at least very successful as they are pretty successful I'm pretty sure as OGS Ken here is about to mine out his ma main base and I think he needs to make more probes here in this natural expansion as we are seeing a complete wall off I guess well at least one more proton cannon is being milled in the front door which is always good and uh, maybe if there's some ghosts there you know you never know as we are not seeing any ghost academy yet but yeah and more packs being made here from OGS boxes so he is gonna go all out with his units marine and medevacs MMM build there you go and this factor is just the waste, I'm not sure. And here we go, a push here right here from Bugsy. He's gonna take out a lot of those floating cannons and gonna be pushed back by the rest of Ken's units. So I'm sorry I missed that. But uh, he just did take out a couple of floating cannons and just pulled back when he saw Ken's units coming down from that ram. So pretty good harassment here from Bugsy right now. And um, if I haven't mentioned yet, I think I have. But yeah, Bugsy won the tournament, a C tournament. Uh, it was Pepper Green's 2v2 challenge. And Bugsy was one of the two people who joined and won that tournament. I think they won like $50, so it's like 2,000 pesos. And he could actually win 2,000 pesos right here if he beats Ken. He beats Ken. And that's like 3,000, I guess, because the other, the other 1,000 must have gone to his partner from for the Pepper the Green tournament. And I'm sorry if I didn't upload that get game, but yeah, it was uh, pre-patch 1.1, and when I got the replay, I wasn't, 
I wasn't able to do it earlier and then it patched so I was having a lot of hard time with the old replays as it is not playing very well in the new patches and um, that's pretty gay <laughs> and let's look at the production tab one more time here we go we might see some high templars very very soon amulet is being researched for those high templars so they would get more energy when they are gonna come out of the <clears throat> the gate uh, warp gate units and here we go a drop again gonna be made by like boxy right there and it's gonna be taking out a lot of the stalkers and this is all out drop right there just a lot of units right here and here we go ken is gonna side storm boom side storm right in the middle of the pack and again good side storms here or ken again good side storms right here doing a good job with those side storms and gonna be forcing boxy here to push back so good job right here and those vi that viking is gonna go down but boxy I'm not sure if it did lose a lot of the units, but that was pretty good harass. He forced Ken to use some side storms, and he has to make his archons now. So yeah, <clears throat> good harassment there for Bugsy, but he didn't do a lot of damage. That's what I'm saying. Or we do see two Vikings here, so I'm not sure if he is expecting any Colossus anymore. Or I think Ken did stop making Colossus now. As See, he's gonna try to trick here, bugs here, and this Archon is about to go down 50 to 42, 6 and 10 life and gone. So, wow, what a waste of Archon! And <laughs> I'm sorry, that's not looking good right now for Ken again, as he did lose that Archon, which Archons really do a lot of damage, especially to armored units. That's the counter to that Marauder Marine Ball, as he could also take some medevacs out. If you choose so, and here we go. In the flash in the middle of the map, force was going up, and that Archon is gonna try to forward to reach out and we zap a couple of units. But we are seeing these two met two Vikings here, and they might land pretty soon. I'm gonna try to take out this assimilator right there. Or oh, oh, we are seeing a couple of units here being warped in at the top of the ramp. So yeah, good job here. And just in case that Vikings do land off, and here we go. Gonna Vikings gonna land at the back of the natural expansion. They're gonna gonna take out couple of these probes so they are going to be very successful in doing that as these two uh, high tempers here are going to come in and going to try to side storm them and they are going to do a lot of damage with those storms oh they are going to go down damn good job but again Bugsy did a, couple, a lot of damage to that uh, economy of uh, Ken right there as I am again lagging wow why am I freaking lagging oh my god I'm sorry come on come on Ah, it's like the first game guys I'm sorry it's like game number one I'm not sure why it is lagging I'm not doing shit promise Ah, there you go kicking back another notch kicking back kicking in the back come on guy come on come on a couple more minutes on this game and it should be over as we are seeing a couple more marines in the middle of the pack and a couple only a couple of marine uh, marines in the middle and a lot of marauders so i think that's to counter off the units oh my god archons here are gonna get cut off and this archon is gonna go down again wow oh emp is gonna go down on those uh, units that immortal has no shield at all and is about to go down actually and this <laughs> army of Ken again being forced to move back one more time does he have cell charge yet no he does not have cell charge yet does he have blink yet no he doesn't have blink yet so this is not looking good again from Ken as he uh, as box here has ghosts on the field and a lot of them I might add a lot of them like maybe six ghosts in that pack so good EMPs can really win this game or break this game for Bugsy and Ken is spreading his units out very evenly so no surprise no surprise EMP is gonna go down but yeah this is a big ball of units again from Bugsy and I think it is gonna be dangerous right here for Ken if he holds if he can hold it or not but we are seeing an expansion here at the gold for Ken and I think it's gonna be visited by Boxy and he is not gonna be visited by Boxy. As he should be, he should take a peek in there. And here we go, Zealots are gonna go down. Wow, scans going down here in the main base or in the main natural of Ken as Boxy here is gonna be preparing to attack one more time. And here we go, <laughs> the natural or the gold expansion is just about to be finished, but I think it's gonna go down very quick if Ken or Boxy. Uh, 
sees it and here we go all feedback from those uh, from one of from one of that medevac